What is up guys, it's Matt here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the KMS Summer Update Showcase, Ignition. I'll try my best to just go over the important things that I saw from the showcase, and anything that I missed will be available in the orange mushroom post that goes up. First, let's start with the Cygnus Knight Remaster. Unfortunately, at least from the showcase, it doesn't seem like the Cygnus Knights got the same Explorer treatment. Dawn Warrior is the clear winner of the showcase and got some new Cosmos skill that can do a lot of lines. They also removed the need for jump attacking between stances. Blaze Wizard got big balls. That's pretty much it. Let's just hope they aren't server sided. Wind Archer has two Howling Gales now, so I guess they have a burst, but Song of Heaven still doesn't move. That was my main issue with the class and they still haven't done anything about it. They also moved the Cape Slap skill from 2nd job to 4th because they know how much you love that skill and want to use it forever. For Nightwalker, they made it so their self bind is a lot cooler, but also made it so you don't have to jump attack as often. It's a little unclear how it works, but it still has to do something with momentum, and maybe instead of jump attacking all the time, you only need to do it every couple of seconds. I'm not 100% sure on that. Next, we have Thunderbreaker. For them, it seems like they made everything just flashier and easier to link together. I believe they also reduced a lot of the action delay on some skills. Finally, with Mahail, they made the class even tankier. Just what they needed. Install Shield does look pretty cool though, a nice summon for better mob clear and extra boss damage. Alright, the next part of the update is called Extreme. They are adding Extreme Mode Black Mage and Saren, which are both supposed to be weaker than Kalos, for people who are having too easy of a time with those two bosses. Next up, Monster Park Extreme is back last seen in 2016. It's unclear how it will work, but they want it to be a 260 plus party play zone that you can do once a day. I'm unsure if it's for an hour or not, but it does sound pretty cool. They're also adding Moras, Esfera, Celis, and Moonbridge to Monster Park. Finally, they mentioned something about extreme fields, which correlates to mobbing. They want to remove sudden missions and make Polo and Frito a lot better. Every fourth portal you can go into and you will get more EXP than the current Stormwing that we have. They are also adding elite bosses to Cernium and Hotel Arcus. The last part of the update is Odium, a new 275 plus area. Not much was released about the zone and if it's coming with the new boss or not, but we are getting a new symbol which means more dailies. Also, people will now be able to take down Kalos because of the extra sacred force. Oh, one more thing, Hyper Burning is coming. You will now be able to burn one character all the way up to 250. It is unclear if it will act like a burninator and you can use it on a character you already have or if it needs to be a new one, but this is actually insane. Everything else was some talks about events and some quality of life changes, but I didn't find those to be super important, at least from what I understood, so that's pretty much going to be it. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you all in the next one. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. Big thanks to Rooney, Brandon Lee, Yo MJ, Not Chaos, Eric Garitti, Balloon, Prime Gaming, Cultured Anime, Justice, Restored, Thick Thighs, I Love Apple, Jason, JP, Picklenear, Joshua Alvarez, Mr. On Arc, Restrict and everyone giving me money for pizza for being members and supporting the channel. Click that join button down below if you would like to become a member and support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.